Welcome to a deep dive into the ancient epic, the Iliad by Homer. Our journey begins in the 8th century BCE, in a world dominated by gods, heroes, and a war that shaped Western literature. This is Homer's Iliad. The Iliad is a fascinating chronicle of the final year of the Trojan War. It's a blend of history, mythology, and gripping storytelling. The protagonist is the Greek hero, Achilles, renowned for his strength and combat skills, but his volatile temper sets the stage for this epic tale. The story begins with a dispute between Achilles and Agamemnon, the king of Mycenae. A quarrel about war spoil sparks a feud that has dire consequences. Agamemnon takes a woman named Brysis from Achilles, causing the latter to withdraw from battle. This move changes the tide of the Trojan War against the Greeks. Achilles' mother Thetis, a sea nymph, convinces Zeus, the king of gods, to aid the Trojans, making things worse for the Greeks. The Iliad presents a world where fate and the gods control human destiny. Every action, every choice, is influenced by divine intervention. The gods are also plagued with human qualities, love, hate, jealousy, thus creating a complex interplay between mortals and immortals. As the story progresses, the Trojans led by Hector, brother of Paris and the greatest Trojan warrior, take advantage of Achilles' absence and drive the Greeks back. Homer's narrative style is gripping. His detailed descriptions of battles, the heroes and their armor, and the intervention of the gods all build a vivid picture. To make matters worse for the Greeks, their greatest archer, Patroclus, is killed by Hector, igniting Achilles' revenge. Achilles, consumed by rage and grief, returns to fight. His only aim, to kill Hector and avenge Patroclus. The gods, watching from Olympus, are divided. Some favor the Greeks, while others favor the Trojans, leading to divine conflict. The epic's climax is the duel between Achilles and Hector. It's a fight to the death, a fight for honor, and a fight for revenge. Achilles, aided by Athena, defeats Hector. But instead of honoring the warrior's death, he desecrates Hector's body, dragging it behind his chariot. Homer's portrayal of Achilles is complex. He's not just a fearless warrior, but also a man driven by pride and the thirst for glory. In contrast, Hector is portrayed as a devoted son, husband, and father. He fights not for glory, but for his city and his people. The Iliad is not just a war chronicle. It explores themes of friendship, honor, wrath, fate, and the human condition amidst the chaos of war. After the death of Hector, the narrative shifts to his father, King Priam. Desperate to retrieve his son's body, he visits Achilles in disguise. In a poignant scene, Priam pleads with Achilles to return Hector's body. He reminds Achilles of his own father and the pain he must feel. This encounter marks a major character shift for Achilles. He's moved by Priam's words and returns Hector's body, showing a softer and more humane side. The Iliad ends with the funeral of Hector. Although the Trojan War continues, Homer chooses to conclude on this note of loss and mourning. The Iliad's influence on Western literature is immeasurable. It's the earliest work in the Western literary tradition and continues to inspire writers and scholars. The epic explores the concept of heroism, but it also raises questions. Is glory worth the cost of life? What does it mean to be human in the face of war and death? Homer's skillful storytelling, the intricate plot, and the timeless themes make the Iliad a masterpiece of literature. The Iliad is more than a tale of wrath, war, and heroism. It's a mirror to our own lives, our strengths, faults, and the choices we make. Homer reminds us that even in the midst of chaos and conflict, there's room for compassion, understanding, and humanity. The Iliad is a testament to Homer's understanding of human nature. It shows us that our choices and actions define us, not our circumstances. So, what can we learn from the Iliad today? The power of empathy, the importance of honor, and the consequences of unchecked anger. It also teaches us that every action has a consequence, that pride and arrogance often lead to downfall. In conclusion, the Iliad is not just a story about gods and heroes. 
It's a timeless reflection on human nature and the eternal struggle between right and wrong. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of the Iliad. We hope this analysis gives you a deeper understanding of this epic masterpiece. Remember, literature is a mirror to life, and in the Iliad, we see reflections of our own struggles, triumphs, and the essence of what it means to be human. As we end, we leave you with a thought. What would your choices be if you were in Achilles or Hector's shoes? Ponder that until our next literary journey. Goodbye and keep exploring, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep reading.